He had a Jordan moment lined up for him on a silver platter. Open in the fourth. Defender falls. Chicago with the lead. LeBron three. This is going to completely change the dynamic of the series. And the worst part about it is the way he responded in the interview. I had a wide open look and it rimmed out. I mean, it was, it rimmed in, it rimmed out, so. <laughs> what role do you play here? What role do you play in here, sir? You can't, you, you gotta hold yourself accountable. Somebody needs to tell this dude, you need to hold yourself accountable. Stop blaming everything, stop blaming everyone, and hold yourself accountable. There is no other excuse for this. I don't understand what's going on in the replay center, to be honest. I said it, I think I said it this year or last year or whatever. D'Lo clearly gets hit in the face on a drive. What the fuck do we have a replay center? This, this is what role do you play here? You had a major opportunity and you blew it. That's okay though, because a lot of us do that. A lot of us have opportunities and we blow them. That's okay. But the main thing that you need to do as a leader, as, as a legend, is take responsibility for your actions. Don't blame the replay thing. Don't blame the rim. Oh, I just rimmed out. Don't blame the rim. It was you and your lack of focus. That's what you really need to admit to to actually be a legendary character. I mean, it was it rimmed in and rimmed out, so. Otherwise, I don't want to hear nobody else talking about how this dude is the GOAT. That right there can completely knock you out of the running for the GOAT. I don't want to hear nobody compare him to Mike ever again. That play was set up for him to establish himself as the greatest. There is your 12 here in the fourth. What role do you play here? What role do you play in here, sir? Defender falls, LeBron three. How is this going to affect the team? How is this going to affect the Lakers? On their end, they're looking at this dude like he was wide open. Defender falls, LeBron three. He was wide open. And he missed the shot. I don't care if you talk about how old he is. I don't care if you talk about how tired he was. I don't want to hear none of that. None of it. The Lakers now, the rest of the team, are going to have to look at dude like, is he the guy? If anything, from here on out, like I said in one of the previous videos, he needs to just highlight his passing. That's it. He needs to do dynamic passes and be like a Magic Johnson type of character because he ain't got it. He ain't got it, but he never had that killer instinct, y'all. He never had that killer instinct. That's part of the problem. That's why this GOAT debate doesn't make sense. It's because he never, ever had that killer mentality. From here on out, he needs to highlight his passing to even be remotely in the conversation going forward he needs to focus on making his players better now if you the nuggets the momentum has completely shifted in your direction makes a move it's completely shifted into the nuggets direction i would not be surprised if the Lakers get swept because of LeBron missing that shot. And yes, I'm putting it all on LeBron. I don't want to hear nobody else talk about nothing else. Everybody else showed up. Everybody else showed up. I don't want to hear nobody talk about no other players.
LeBron had an opportunity. It was 99 to 99 seconds left. He was wide open and missed the shot. Why? Because he don't have the killer mentality, man. You got to be willing to, to completely obliterate somebody. And my take on what happened is he saw dude fall over. And when he saw dude fall over, he, in his mind, felt bad for him. That That's part of the problem why him trying to join teams and not developing that that grit and that killer mentality that's why that was a problem for him to be trying to join up with people because now you're trying to be buddy buddy with everybody and now you see this dude fall on the ground there's a few things going through your head on one end you feel bad for him on the other end you don't know if the refs are gonna call a call this is when you thinking too much you think it too much, dog. You need to just execute, bro. But again, my final thoughts on this, okay? The last thing is that LeBron was supposed to take responsibility in that press conference. Don't walk off after saying, I don't know why we have the replay thing and I just watched the Nick game. That has nothing to do with nothing. What you were supposed to go up there and say is, look, I shot the ball. It felt good. I missed it. That's my bad. That's my bad. As a legend, as a hooper, man, you're supposed to take responsibility for that. Anytime I'm playing, I take responsibility for a shot that I know if I would have made it, we would have won. I'm taking responsibility for that. I don't care what the other players are saying. I don't care what my team is saying. It's like, dog, that was my fault. I should have made that. Why? Because I'm that dude. If you're that guy, Take responsibility. I don't know what you're going to do now, bro. I don't know what you're going to do now, dog. You're going to have to pull something completely out of nowhere. You're going to have to... If you come back from this... If you come back from this, dog... I'll, I'll put you up there. 100%. If I put, if you come back from this, dude, because of the mental, because of the mental strain that you're under right now, if you actually come back and win this series, because I think you're going to get swept. I don't think you got it. I ain't going to lie to you. But if you come back from this, you on a different level. You truly are on a different level, but we got to see it. We got to see it. And, and. If I'm a betting man, I think you're going to get swept, bro. For real. I think you're going to get swept. Because your mentality is completely off. Don't talk about no other players. We make shot. No, nah, bro. It was your fault. It was your fault alone. I don't want to hear nothing else. That's it. Mindset matters. More than anything else, what your mind is set on will dictate your future. And all you do is complain. You complain when you don't get calls. You're wasting energy, bro. Stop wasting energy, dog. That's another thing. You got to stop wasting energy. You're wasting too much energy looking for calls and crying about stupid stuff. Shut up and play. Focus, dog. Focus. Don't worry about the refs. Don't worry about calls. Focus. Play. Be legendary. Mindset matters more than anything else. What your mind is set on will dictate your future. Focus on potential because that's what you are. And if you're not focusing on that, you're complaining, you're making excuses, you're not him. Anytime, out.
I'm Kevin Anytime, Mindset Specialist, Director of Mindset Matters Institute. On this channel, we talk about all things that involve your mindset because what your mind is set on will dictate your future.